8, Pontiac, 2 door, red, valid license, Jefferson, Bel Air, Florida, Tag, Papa, Echo, Indio, Romeo, 65, male driver, cut off from 40, 40, Seattle, almost 15 people. Vehicles now parked and covered now go further to 2350. Sick one. Sick one. First he jumped out of the car, and that's why I asked for a 94 minute talking to him. I thought he was going I just got fucked up full, full level of the, um, two, yeah. Sorry, making a film. Oh, okay. Here's your insurance card back. I'm going to give this back to you. Hey, George, I want you to step out of the car. I'm concerned that you're driving under the influence of either alcohol or control. Oh, my God. And I'm going to conduct a DUI investigation. Will really? you step out of the car, please? Can you say that? No, you can put the phone down. I mean, um... walk over here with me. I know your shoes are messed up, but do you want them? No. no fine. You're fine? Okay, so we've got some nice flat level ground up here. Let's stand up here. If you'll stand up here with my partner for me, okay? Yeah, we're, we're going to stand up here, and I'm going to move my car so we get really good light. Yeah, I just want it to be smooth for your feet. Right there's great. Here you are. Stay right there for me, okay? Six, 
Okay. Okay. George, I'm going to ask you a couple questions first. And then I'm going to take a look at your eyes. Eyes. Yeah. I want to make sure you're not on the medical episode. Okay. Are you sick or injured? No. No? no. Are you a diabetic? Uh, no. I have Asperger's. Okay. Do you take insulin? Uh, no. Are you an epileptic? But like I said, I that Asperger's, which is kind of like autism. Okay. So, um, even, I mean, just make, that makes me uh, kind of weird social environment. So Asperger's doesn't affect your ability to walk, talk, drive. I could drive. I could drive the hell out of that car. Okay. You know, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I know. I did. I did the wrong thing. I know that. Okay. So, anyways, okay, go ahead. Okay. Do you take? Do you take Dilantin? Nope. Do you have any physical defects? Nope. Are you under the care of a doctor or a dentist? Do you have a glass eye? No. Are you wearing contacts? No. And you can see, they're just required questions I have here on my piece of paper. I have to ask you. Stay right there for me. Do you mind taking your hat off or lifting it up a little bit for me? Perfect. So what I want you to do, you don't have to throw it on the ground. Okay, so I want you to, I want you to stand with your feet together, your arms down at your side. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check your eyes. I want you to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes and your eyes only. I want you to keep your head still. Do you understand? Okay. Keep your head still for me. Your head's still for me. Just your eyes. Okay, pay attention. Do it again. Just your eyes. Hey, I do. Focus on this. I'm not done yet. down like you have. So with your eyes and your eyes only. Okay, go ahead and relax. George, you're right handed or left handed? Martial arts? Yeah. What's your uh what's your uh martial arts of choice? Uh Jitsu and Wing Chung and uh Jitsu. Okay, cool. Hey, would you help me out? Take this end of this tape for me. Yeah. Will you put it in the middle of that piece so it's gonna look like a big T? Oh, there you go. Alright, you hold that there for me. here looks pretty straight to you, right? Perfect. I'm going to explain it to you. Give me one second.
right, so the first field sobriety exercise that we're going to do is what's called the walk and turn. Are you familiar with this? Okay. So let me go ahead and read you the instructions. Are you still okay being barefoot? That's fine. Okay. I just want to make sure you're comfortable. I feel better with barefoot. Yeah? Okay. All right, so I want you to place your left foot on that line. Left foot? Yep. And I want you to place your right foot on the line ahead of your left foot. So you're, you're, you're touching heel to toe. All right. Gosh. Yep. So I want that right heel touching your left toes. Ah, uh, this is There you go. Okay, and I want you to keep your hands down at your side. And I want you to stay in this position until I complete the instructions. Do you understand? Okay. Alright, so when I tell you, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down this line. And you're going to count out loud. It's going to look like this. So we're starting with our left foot on the line. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth until you get to nine. After you complete your ninth step, you're going to take a series of small turns. It'll look like this, with your foot staying on the line. You're going to get back in that position. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps back down that line, counting out loud. One, two, three, until nine. Do you understand those instructions? I understand. Okay, go ahead and get that position I told you to stay in until we started. I just kind of clumsy. I'm sorry. That's okay. You can be clumsy. Sorry, man. It's like, uh, it's like if it was like, uh, you want me to do this? No, come on. No. See? But this, this, this is walking straight. It's like, I don't know. Okay, you want to complete the exercise? I, I'll try it. I, I'm just saying that, uh, Clumsy. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm fucking Asperger. Do 
but you said the Asperger's doesn't affect how you walk, drive, function normally. You said it just, you know, it's more of a... Yeah. Well, no matter what, what you saw is my car, you drive my car, and I did some really excessive acceleration, and that was like, um, that's illegal. So, okay. I totally agree with well, you. Well, I appreciate your honesty. That was, that was bad. But okay. I mean, yeah, I did, I did, you know, to walk, yeah, they kind of. Well, I mean, there's a lot more than just walking the line. Like, I gave uh, you the instructions. Well, I, I just, I don't know. It's like, um, honestly, it's like, um, you know, it's trying to get my hand to get going. Okay. Let's move, on to, let's move on to the next exercise. Okay, since you can't do that. Okay. All right. Come over here. I want there to be good light. Just stand right about here for me, okay? Okay. Stay right there. Okay. The next one's what's called a one-leg stand, okay? I want you to stay with your heels together, your arms down your side. Very similar to how we started everything. Heels together, arms down your side. There you go. I want you to stay in that position until I tell you to, okay? Okay, so when I tell you to start, you're going to raise one leg of your choice, whether it be your right leg or your left leg. Here, face me. Keep turning around. There you go. <coughs> All right, heels together, arms down on our side. There you go. Good job. All right, so when I tell you you're going to raise one leg, either your left or your right, approximately six inches off the ground, you're going to keep that raised foot parallel to the ground. So it will look like this. So I don't want your toe pointing up. I don't want your toe pointing down. I want it parallel to the ground. And you're going to count out loud 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, so on and so forth until I tell you to stop. Do you understand those instructions? Okay. All right, so when I tell you to begin, you can start. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, wonderful. Wonderful I'm what? I'm clumsy. I'm clumsy Okay, can you, I mean, you're standing fine. Does that affect your clumsiness? It doesn't affect my driving. Oh, okay. It's like, um, I'm just clumsy. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. All right, are I'm you ready? I'll do my best. All right, yeah. can, you, can you get in that starting position? I told no, you to stay in until no, we started. I, I'm not drunk. I mean, my, my um, I'm, I'm really, um, uh, do you want to see if I'm drunk or not? Yeah, just go to test. But I'll give you a test. Okay. It's like, yeah, I, I swear to God, I'm just going to this. Okay, so can you go it's ahead and get like in that the, position I told you to get into that you said you yeah. understood? And, uh... Okay, I didn't tell you to start uh, yet. I don't know, gosh. You're going to give me a deal with it. I didn't tell uh, you to start yet. God damn it. Can you just get in the starting position and then when you're ready we'll go? All right, you can begin. I'm sorry. You can begin. Like, I don't know. Sorry. Just, um... Yeah, damn it. It's like, um... Can we, um... Okay, you can stop. Can we grapple on the ground? No, we don't grapple. No, I, I'm just joking. Oh, you're just joking? Okay. Yeah, of course. Um, it's like, yeah, um, yeah, it's like, um, yeah, uh, God damn it, it's like, yeah. I could hold this up. I mean, the exercise for, ended 30 seconds ago. Like, um, all right. Come over. Sure, right. uh, Come over here. I want to ask you some I'm questions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I drove my car. so far. All right. Stand over here in front of my car for me. Yes. All right. I need to ask you some questions that are on this piece of paper. All 
Hi, George. Since I have to ask you some questions, you are in custody at this moment. You're not free to leave. We are doing an investigation. I have to forge your Miranda warning. Your Miranda rights not coming up. So George, uh, yes. Can you tell me where I do that? Well, you admitted to the excessive speed when you left the 7-Eleven after talking to you. Sure. I'm concerned that you are driving under the influence. Okay? We're conducting a criminal DUI investigation. So, like I told you, I have a lot of questions on my paper. In this last section, I have to provide you your Miranda rights first. So, George, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. You cannot afford to hire a lawyer. One will be appointed to represent you for any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to expect your right to not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights that I've explained to you? Yes or no, verbal. What should I to do? i got to ask you some questions. That's what I'm concerned about right now. So, George, do you understand each of these rights that I've explained to you? Take me to jail. Who should I take care of my car? George, can you answer my question? Sorry, yes. So, yes, you understand each of these rights that I've explained to you? I totally understand these rights. Okay. Yes. Having yes. these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us? About. I have to ask you some questions. Yes. Okay. Happy to talk. Thank you. Seriously, um. I mean, why? I just worry about my car, man. That car can't be parked here. I mean, why are you thinking you're going to be alright this second? Because. Well, I should be, because the inside of, yeah, like I said, um, yeah, you know, I drove really bad, and so like you pulled me over, and now I can't walk this stupid line, and, okay. but honestly, I can drive a car fine, and I'm not, see, um, well, I'm not going to get into it. So, I mean, I'll, I'll go to jail, but I just want my car, someone's got to take care of my car. Hey, George. You can't just sit here on the side of the road. Okay, can we conclude this the car, investigation? Yes, we can. Okay. George, where are you coming from? Where I live? No, where were you coming from before I stopped you? Um, from my, uh, my address. From your address? Yes. What's your on address? My, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I can't talk because I'm so dry mouth. Why are you dry mouth? Because I need some water. What do you need water from? Where's your mouth dry from? That's a funny question. Why is it funny? I mean, I'm not laughing. Where are you going? Home. So you just left your home, but you're going home? So were you just like driving around? Or yeah, I was just going doing? to this place and going back home. What place were you going to? Back home. So you left home to go to home? I left home to go to this, uh, you know, the store to get, you know, something and... Yeah. Which, I, George, I, what street I know is this I right sound here? so stupid. And it really pissed me off because if I could drink some water, I wouldn't sound so stupid. But yes, I just, I left. He saw my driver's license. I live in this place. I drove here to sail over here. Okay. And I was going to drive back. That's it. Okay. I'm just doing that. Well, uh, George, what street are we on right That's here? Fine. This street? Yeah. I don't even know. 66? 66? No, but, you know, it's like, um, you know, Gulfport, uh, 22nd, and then, um, I don't know what the answer is called. Okay. I don't know. Alright. What direction were you traveling when I pulled you over? Well, I was getting ready to, I was going this way. I was going to take a new tour and it goes this way. Do you know what way that is if it's north, south, east, or west? I don't. Okay. I really don't. Right. George, have you been I drinking? I just know.
Go. Hey, um, stay right there. Stay in front of the car. Anywhere. I gotta ask you the rest I'm of the question. Say, um, so uh, this uh, pa Pasadena, you know, if I come this way, and then the fucking uh, the fucking uh, uh, seven eleven or whatever, and it's like uh, go back that way or go down that way. That's what I was doing. Can you take a break? Yes, yeah, didn't we? You're tired? What are you tired, tired from? Sorry. I, I, I am tired. Okay. George, have you been drinking? No. No? You sure about that? Well. Well, what? Oh, a little bit. A little bit? Okay. What were you drinking? No. Oh, I don't know. Uh, shit. One or two shots? That's about it. One or two shots? What kind of uh, um, shots were you doing? I don't know, um, whiskey. Whiskey? But, I mean, it's like, um, like I said, um, Were they like regular shot glasses? Were they double, triple? No, uh, they were just, just regular. Okay. Where were you drinking at? Um, at home. At home? What time did you start drinking? You can see they're all just questions on my piece of paper. Can I drink some water? I don't have any water. What time did you start drinking? So, uh, I'm dehydrated right now. Are you dehydrated? Okay. Okay, um, I was going to do my best. Um, yes, I did a couple shots, and um, I left my house, and I went to the show of to get something, and then I was going to drive home. Okay. That's it. And yes, you heard me. Yes, I. My car is a race car. It's a race car in the street. Oh, yeah, my car. You should look at my race car. I mean, that that car is uh, well, I can't say it's illegal, but that's a real that's a real car. Okay. But um, yes, it sounded so ridiculous. But seriously, I mean, I had no full control of it. I don't know, whatever, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, because I know it's so loud. It's embarrassing. Oh, okay. So you said it's you had one or two shots of whiskey yeah, at your house. Yeah, I had a couple of shots of whiskey. Was that right before you left to go to the store? Are store? you going to want to do the, uh, are you going to want to do the winners of the West? We haven't gotten to that point. I still got to finish all these questions I'm trying to ask you. I mean, you know, because I drink every damn day. You do? I drink every day. You drive every day after not, drinking? I would not. I don't drink drunk and drive drunk. I'm just saying that every day I drink. And, um, I don't know if I fucking, I said I can't even talk it. Why? Um, anyway, sorry. Too so much information. Um, um, no, I just did a couple shots for a different game, and I drove to the cellar, and I was just going to buy something and go home. That's it. That's all I did. So, I was not going to go, you know, drag racing down the end of the road. Okay, you wait to do that on Saturdays, right? I don't drag race Okay. Hey, what time did you start drinking the shots? See, like, see, I love. I support law enforcement. I appreciate that. I, I swear to God, I support it. Okay. Can we get through these last yes, two questions? Yes, yes. Okay. What time did you start drinking the shots with me? Was it right before you went to the store? No, it was, I did like two shots of whiskey about an hour before I actually drove to go to somewhere. Um, just, just something to go home. Okay. Also, 
Okay, so you started drinking roughly an hour before you went to 7-Eleven. Yeah. yeah. What time did you stop drinking? Stop. That's a funny question. I mean, I don't have no alcohol in my car. So it's like, uh, like I said, I drank about an hour before I drove here. And then, um, that's it. Okay. That's it. Uh, without looking at a watch, what time is it now? You know, honestly, I don't even, I don't even know. Just, uh, what, like, maybe, uh, midnight or 11 p.m., something like that. So you think it's between 11 and 12? I don't know. I, I that's what you said. That's what I said, yes. That's what I think. It's between 11 or, it's not like 1 a.m. I don't think it's 1 a.m. But I swear to God, if I could drink some water, I wouldn't sound this stupid, this stupid right now. It's just, um, I'd be hydrated. I mean, no one said you sounded stupid. Well, I mean, just, you know, I know this, I know this whole routine. I'm on your side, and I'm sorry. And, uh, well, I got a couple more questions I know that, to ask. You know, I drove my car, I drove my car, you know, in a really, you know, offensive way. Yes, I, I appreciate your honesty. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. George, have I you been smoking marijuana? Nope. Eating marijuana? Consuming it in any form? I mean, gosh, really? It's um, a question of my form. Okay, um... Well, you know, today, but yesterday, yeah, sure, I did some marijuana. Um, you know, a little bit. What time do you think it was? Um, yesterday, I don't even know, because I slept all day yesterday, so it was somewhere... I'm sorry, I don't have I don't have the best answer for you. Yes, I did do a little marijuana you know, yesterday and maybe uh, twenty six hours ago. Okay. Something like that. How Actually, did you I slept forever for um all you know, New Year's New Year's Eve and I just slept. I just slept and wake up and you know, I had some shots and I slept in this place and that was my home. Okay. Do you have a medical marijuana card? So I guess you said. But I don't have marijuana. Um, I, I'm not saying you do. So when you when you consumed marijuana yesterday, did you what what form was it in? Did you smoke it? Did you is it a gummy? I just smoked um yeah, I just smoked a couple, you know, in my little pipe. Sickles. Simple, um, yeah. seriously, just simple, um, you're going to take me to jail, I know it, God damn it. George, when was the last time you ate? Yeah. Hey George, I've got a couple more questions, can you pay attention? Yes, I can. Right. When did you last eat? Um, <laughs> well, about 12 hours ago. Hours ago. So about 9 a.m., 9, 10 a.m.? Yeah, some okay. time. Yeah. What'd you have? I had, uh, <laughs> shrimp. Shrimp for breakfast? Shrimp, um, you know, the frozen shrimp with the little cocktail sauce in the middle. Oh, okay, so shrimp cocktail? That's, that's what I had. Yeah, huh? that's exactly what I had. So you said you were sleeping a lot. When did you last sleep? Oh, I, I sleep a lot. You sleep a lot? Okay. So what time did you go to bed? Oh, my God. Um, well, I would say around 8 p.m. Um, the day before New Year. You know, Eurus Eve, Eurus Eve, APF was where I slept, and I slept forever. When did you wake up? Um, let's see. 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 Let's
around 8 a.m. 8 a.m. this morning. So that's 12 hours. Is that normal for you? 12 hours of sleep? Sometimes. George, are there any mechanical problems with your vehicle? Nope. Well, yes, there is. Actually, my, my, you don't even want to know about it, but yes, there's a, uh, there's something with the, uh, the brake, the, uh, the vacuum, and, uh, my idle goes up and down. Okay. See, but it's not like your braking system or your steering. No, it has like nothing to do with the way I drove it. Okay. Nope. And my car is very safe. So, nope, it had nothing to do with me you know, doing what I did, and I, I did, I did, you know, that was, I drag raced it, you know, for a moment, and, um, it was very safe, so the problem with a car is, like, when you, uh, get to the idle, sometimes the idle is broken. Now, okay. George, are you taking any medications, whether it be prescribed or not prescribed? Nope. 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 Have you been involved in a vehicle or a motorcycle or any kind of crash today? No. Do you feel the effects of the alcoholic beverages or the drug use symptoms? Honestly, um, yes, I feel a little, a little buzz because, um, see, I have asthma. Uh-huh. And, um, Instead of taking value to uh, calm myself down, I drink a little bit. So yeah, I, I drink a little bit. Okay. But I could drive. I could drive the hell out of my car. I mean, I'm, I'm not drunk. I mean, I could drive fine. But yes, like um, I have this problem. It's like it's like autism. Okay. So uh, instead of taking value or some kind of other medication. Yes, I did because of shots. Okay. Like I said, I told you. I, no, I appreciate your honesty. Shots, and then I drove, you know, to 7-Eleven and drive home. Okay. On a scale of 1 but to I'm 10, not, where I'm would you put yourself? I'm not going to anybody. No. Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, you said you were feeling fun. Where would you put yourself? Buzz. So 1 being sober, 10 being extremely intoxicated. I would say Four. Okay. Just George, feeling good. Feeling good. But okay. not, not, absolutely not intoxicated. Okay. But like I said, I'm clumsy. I mean, you walk in that stupid baby town, I would, I would love to race you. You know, my car gets your car. I and know. we see how we, you know, you know, driving. Because, I mean, walking down that whole thing, I don't know. I just, I'm clumsy, it doesn't matter, even if I was just completely straight. Okay. I'd probably just walk that damn thing. Okay. But I could, I could do bus arts with you if you wanted to do bus no. arts. But, you know, you know, walking down that straight thing, you know. So, I just tried to get the art. No, I appreciate so, your honesty. Okay, go ahead. George, in your opinion, are you under the influence of an alcoholic beverage or a drug? Nope. No. You just said, but you feel buzzed though, right? I am just, um, I'm soft. You're soft? What does that mean? Soft. I don't know what that means. Soft means that, um, I'm not, um, rigid. But I'm not, well, I mean, no, I'm not soft. That's soft. Uh, but yeah, I'm soft. I just like, um, I feel like, you know, I can hang out with social people and talk and, you know, honestly, when I'm totally straight, I'm such a weirdo, and see, if you actually pulled me over a straight, you'd be talking to a different person. See, right now, I'm really more sociable, and um, I'm more um, calm, so I just say I'm soft. Okay. But no, I'm not drunk. I could, I could drink a whole day of water. I mean, I could drink a whole fifth of Jim Beam before I'm even drunk. So I just drink a, you know, maybe a couple of shots, that's it. Okay. Do you have any kids? Seriously. Nope. Any nieces or nephews? 
Uh, wait. Any, like, who's your most loved person in your family? Who's the closest person to you? My mom. Your mom. Would you feel comfortable if your mom was in the passenger seat driving her around after consuming the whiskey shot? Oh. Like in your current state, your current state of yeah, thought. Yeah, my, my current state of driving, when I did that drag, that little, that little dress, uh -huh. I, I, it's, see, I have to laugh, because I know, I know, that, that needs, I need to go to jail just to believe that, okay, but, you know, you're, you're being nice to me, um, yeah, my mom, she was in the car, and I did that little, whoa, whoa, yeah, my mom would think, uh, well, try to be more careful. But That's what she was saying to me. Okay, well, outside of she like the She was saying, you're trying to be more careful. And the speeding. I'm talking to your feeling of what you, you said soft or how you said your son was. Do you feel comfortable driving your mom around in your current state? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, absolutely. I could drive, oh, I'm, I'm very articulate. Okay. That's the word I use. I'm very damn articulate. Even though, yes, I got drinks of water, so I could talk more articulate, but, um, it's, uh, my, my, my state, oh, seriously, man, I'm a professional drinker. You're a professional drinker? I mean, I, I just, I did not drink nothing. I mean, to me, I'm just like, I feel like kind of normal. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate you. And I'm just you. trying to tell you that, um, you know, I would drink, um, like a whole fifth of Jim Beam before I even get to be drunk. And then, of course, I would not drive. I just get two shots. So, uh, yeah, I know it sounds funny and blah, blah, blah. But seriously, well, I don't know. You know, you're going to make up your own mind about uh, yeah, my mom, I was just going to say, like, you know, yeah, so be more careful for me. Be more okay, careful. The rest of the night, I'm going to get a dog. So, George, yes, you are under the arrest for driving under the influence. Yeah. Okay, for You have water in the car? You want me to get you, like, a sip of water? Yeah, 
please get my, yeah, my wallet? Yeah, your wallet, your phone, yeah, your phone, and my keys, phone. and some yeah. shoes for you. That's, that's, yeah, I appreciate it. Right, all your stuff for you, okay? Yes. You have that, great. Yep. Yeah, the car and the tag, all that's in the call. I added him again, just put driver. George, what's the mileage supposed to be on your car? He doesn't know. Is the odometer dead? Yeah, because it's 90, what, 97 or 98? I mean, uh, it said 98, but it's been all oh, rebuilt, man. The whole ahead. thing is a race car. The whole thing is a race car. Yeah. Trans Am. It's not yeah. stuff. It's nothing stuff at all. It's all rebuilt. It's all a race, race car. For a race car. Yeah. I just Thank you. Know you you show me 51 to see this one adult male starting mileage 
No, that's in Tampa. We're just going to Nelson County Jail. Try J Towing, who's um, on 9th, I think. They're going to take. I told them that it had to be flatbed, so Try J is going to take care of your car. They're going to take it to uh, your, uh, your whatever. They're going to take it to their lot down in St. Pete. So when you get out, you'll be able to go get your car. That's awesome. They're going to use a flatbed, right? Yep, I requested them. Nope, I request. Yep, I requested a flatbed that way. We keep we take care of your car, it doesn't get damaged. As long as you're cooperative, once we get to where we're going, I can take them off of you, okay? I'm cooperative. I mean, honestly, I, I like the, I like the handguns. Because I, you know, actually, I like fun. You know, you know, if, you know, if, if it's just me and you dating, you know, you know, we're not a cop, you know, just a girl. I don't like to touch you. You'd like to cut me and drink my blood? Why would you want to cut me? So where you're going, like with DUIs, it looks like a big 
It looks like a big living room. So you're not going to be in cells unless you misbehave. It's not like the TV shows. Uh, what kind of music do you guys play?
our jail property. Yeah. 